too far enterprises. Do you realize that sometimes we focus on our outside, the temple? Our bodies are a temple which houses a spirit, and that spirit is energy. And the fact is, we spend more time making our outer selves look good for ourselves and other people that we sometimes are asleep. We're asleep and not awoke to the things that are going on around us because we think the things that we are doing are so important that the things that affect us every day don't matter. And then we have other people who are trying to get themselves in a place where they understand and they know their self-history. A wise man named Griak once told me about doing my self-history and I didn't understand it. It was one of the steps that I had to go through in order to be conscious. And that was consciousness is the ability to recognize what's going on around you that's taking a veil and seeing behind the veil. It's like being in the audience and you know when they raise the curtain, then you are able to see the performance in the back. Well, this is life. You're sitting in the audience sometimes and you, you're laughing and clowning and playing and, and guess what? You can't see behind the curtain. Behind the curtain is what really defines you, what has conditioned you, and, and it's led you to believe most of the things that you believe today and therefore controls you without your knowledge. But some of us don't want to be conscious anyway because when you become conscious, it leads you to have to do something. And if you don't do something, your spirit will not let you rest. But don't listen to me. I'm just giving my two cents. I'm going to let somebody explain things to you much better because there's more to life than looking good, feeling good, and doing the things that make you, you think make you happy. It's being aware and sharing information. And one of the things that I found out later on in life when I really looked at who's supposed to be my friends and the people that cared about me, I wondered, when we were going out having fun drinking, doing whatever we had to do, looking for women or women looking for us or whatever the case may be, it was fine. But when it came down to finances and when it came down to actually helping me get to a place maybe that they were at but they didn't tell me, okay, or like reading the Wall Street Journal, you understand? And and not bothering to educate me on the things, you know, to leave me stagnant financially, economically. Because if somebody really cares about you, they're going to bring you along for the ride too. They're not going to want to be rich or powerful by themselves. They're going to bring you along simply because they love you. But that's enough of me talking. Just think about it. So when you think you got a real good friend and y'all from two economically diverse you know, uh, size of the track, ask yourself if they're really your friend. Because if they're your friend, they would care about your money too, just like they care about theirs. Please listen. The difference between being woke, sleep, consciousness, and loving one another. Share information. People have to be very careful because you know, there's a situation, in my opinion, with karma, where if you're always focusing on the dark stuff and always doing dark or engaging in darkness, you're going to get more darkness coming at you. And that darkness, in my opinion, could supersede your lifetime in this avatar body. It could follow your spiritual energy, which is eternal. So people say, well, you know, the person died. It's all over for them. Well, maybe not. The energy never dies. It only transforms. Is the karma tracking that spiritual energy into the next life? is possible we know that energy does not die energy just reboots itself reboots itself so we are eternal so stop panicking thinking your life is over you've done this trillions of times you'll get good at it and we'll be perfect one time if we get conscious
when I walk places, when I go places, I expect the, the universe to unfold for me. I expect, Absolutely. I expect things to open up for me and things to just happen for me when I walk into places. I can just be going to the grocery store. I'm walking everywhere I go. I'm walking in pure power. I, I, I act like I'm commanding and wielding the universe to my will. But the same power that created everything we see in this entire universe, in this multiverse, is the same power that's inside of my body. The program that he put in was so good. You know, we're born, we're given a name, a race, and a religion, and we're basically, we, we grew up defending that whole identity. It's a fake identity. It's not really us. We've kind of forgotten and relinquished who we really are and given it up to this system, this, this, uh, this institutionalized system that we're put in place thousands of years ago. You know, you're this religion, I'm this thing, or you're this light skin, and I'm this dark skin. All this stuff, we got to, you know, black people, black men want to fight black men all the time. We want to attack each other socially now on social media because you're doing too good and I'm not doing as good as you. We got to drop all of that. We got to stop all of that. We got to synchronize. We got to realize that we're better together than apart, not tearing each other down, fighting each other, slapping each other. All this kind of crazy yeah. stuff. We got to come together and we got to realize, man, how can I bring a piece of the puzzle? How can you bring a piece of the puzzle? You know what I'm saying? Just sitting there talking to you, you got pieces of the puzzle that I don't have, and I got pieces of the puzzle that you don't have. We can start building a whole doggone puzzle. We can put a puzzle together. Mm -hmm. And you add more people. Next thing you know, that picture, that painting is amazing. Yeah. We can, we can make a mosaic. Yeah. And so um, well, until we get to that point, though, we're always going to be bickering and fighting and arguing over resources and pocket watching and hating and worrying about this and worrying about that because that's the program they instilled into us. We got to now override this DNA and this RNA programming code. We got to say, you know what? We got we to gotta talk to ourselves. You know what? I'm being a hater right now. I'm being a troll right now. I'm, I'm, I'm pocket watching right now. I'm being jealous right now. Why am I doing that? And analyze inside of ourselves, why am I doing this? Why do I feel like this? And work on our internal self and learn how to not be that way. Learn how to Give somebody the benefit of that. Learn how to try to work with somebody. Learn how to ask better questions so you can understand better instead of getting angry. And, uh, you know, learn how to control your emotional state. And when we can do that and we can link up and we can make big power moves together, that's when the world's going to change. Every thought. If we only knew how powerful we were, Muhammad Ali once said, I'm going to show you how great I am. I would wish for my people that we would show one another how great we are. Because civilization, you know, we have three lines of thought, but I'm always in the, the line of thought where basically everything comes out of Africa, okay? And then from there, we people the world. Now, a lot of people won't uh, agree with that, and that's their prerogative. But out of 40 million people, especially black people in the United States, we already know that 10, maybe 15 million have already sold themselves to, to the master. They want to be uh, just like the person that oppressed them, and they want, you know, money, and they feel like if they do just enough, maybe he would accept them. And if that's the way they feel, fine. But I'm of a different mind that if people do not love you from the beginning, there's not much you can do to make them love you. So why try? Why not just love yourself and be yourself? Find out who you truly are. Find out about your spirit. And once you do that, you won't need to have to try hard to please somebody else. Please yourself, your parents, your community, and this nation. This is Too Far Enterprises. Good day to you.